Hello, everybody. My name is Samar Ibrahim. I'm one of the pediatric transplant hepatologists at Mayo Clinic. And today I'll be giving you an overview about the pediatric liver transplant program at Mayo Clinic. First, I would like to introduce our team. Um, the transplant surgeons are uh, Dr. Timushin Tanner, who's the surgical director, Dr. Charles Rosen, uh, and Dr. Julie Han Heimbach. The transplant hepatologists include me, Samar Ibrahim, I'm the medical director, and Dr. Sarah Hassan. In addition, we co-manage our patient with the transplant infectious disease, Dr. Teresa Madigan. Jody Weckworth is our transplant physician assistant. She plays an integral role in the uh, follow-up of our transplant candidate and recipient in the inpatient service. And uh, Kali Lovejoy is our transplant coordinator. She coordinates the care of our uh, patient through all steps of the transplant process. We have at Mayo Clinic a multidisciplinary transplant team. Uh, this includes the transplant pharmacists, the transplant social workers, and the transplant dietitians. Here at Mayo Clinic, we have an integrated outpatient practice uh, between pediatric hepatology and pediatric liver transplant. This enables us to reevaluate the need of liver transplantation in our uh, patient with chronic liver disease on a regular basis and optimize the timing of uh, liver transplant evaluation, listing, and eventually transplantation. We consult on hospitalized pediatric patients with acute and chronic liver diseases on the inpatient service at St. Mary Hospital. We co-manage these patients with our colleagues in pediatric intensive care and conduct timely liver transplant evaluation and when appropriate listing uh, for patient with acute liver failure or with chronic liver disease and recent decompensation. We are part of the uh, William von Liebig Center for Transplantation and Clinical Regeneration. So we have a well-developed infrastructure to enhance the care of our pediatric liver transplant candidates and recipients. This include our capacity to perform minimally invasive procedure um, like interventional radiology-based procedure or complex endoscopy-based procedure. These procedures are often an integral part of the care of both liver transplant candidates and recipients. We evaluate patients with hepatobiliary neoplasia for liver transplantation, and this includes the common pediatric liver tumors such as hepatoblastoma and hepatocellular carcinoma, in addition to the rare one like cholangial carcinoma. We strive to optimize the outcome of these patients, and our patients are cared by a multidisciplinary team of specialists, which include, in, in addition to the transplant hepatologists and the transplant surgeons, um, the pediatric oncologists, the pediatric radiation oncologists, pediatric radiology, pediatric path, uh, pathology, um, among other team members. We provide well-coordinated care with the genetic and metabolic specialists for our patients with metabolic uh, and genetic liver diseases who require liver transplantation. And this care is through every uh, step of the process. We have transplanted uh, and care for a large population of patients with metabolic and uh, genetic diseases. Um, and here I have a list of some of these um, condition, including glycogen storage disease, urea cycle defect, congenital disorder of glycosylation, tyrosinemia, krigler najjar syndrome, allergial syndrome, and the broad category of progressive familial intrahepatic cholestasis. In addition, we have a combined liver and kidney transplant program. We co-manage these patients with a transplant nephrologist. Most of these patients have a combined transplant for uh, kidney and liver, uh, mainly for hyperoxaluria or polycystic kidney disease with liver involvement. We have a well-developed living donor liver transplant program, and we reassess regularly living donation as a viable option for a timely transplant based on the equity of the liver transplant candidates and their priority on the transplant list. At the end, I would like to leave you with uh, some information about how to connect with us either by phone or by the web. And thank you for your attention.